Sometimes I wonder how I got so lucky to have met a man as wonderful as you. Everyone would always say it'll happen when you least expect it. And after a while, you get tired of hearing that. But then, in a moment, just like everyone said it happened, you walked into my life when I least expected it. My future has always been destined to you. It's tied to you. Before I ever even knew you, you are going to save my future, our future. I've known Stephanie for six years now, and she pulled me into the wedding planning process about, I don't know, maybe five years and 10 months ago. <laughs> All we had to do was figure out this detail. <laughs> but the more time I've spent with Cole, the more it feels like I've known him just as long as Stephanie. Cole is compassionate, he's generous, he's a kind-hearted person who almost goes out of his way to find the good in other people. Stephanie compliments him well by being a straight shooter, no-nonsense, creative, fun-loving, joy-filled person who knows exactly what she wants, and she's not afraid to shoot for the stars. So Stephanie, she sat down and she said in full confidence, Phil, God spoke to me. And he wants me to completely fast from the focus of trying to find the perfect person. And I asked her how long this fast would be. And she looked at me and she said definitively, she said, God said one year. Then you could see the realization set in on her face. And she looked at me and I'll never forget this. She said, Phil, is this crazy? She would make the joke all the time. Hey, I'm, I'm not getting any younger. You know, let's get this show on the road. And the thought of intentionally giving up one whole year on the pursuit of her dream, it seemed crazy. But it wasn't crazy. It was fate. Two years ago, you came into my life. I was in a place of uncertainty and spiritual strain. I decided that my life was meant to be alone without a wife to focus on my relationship with the Lord, ministry, and discipline myself. But in truth, I was miserable. And I was growing apart from the Lord and from my dreams. Then you stepped into my life. I simply couldn't believe I had found the love of my life personalities clicked, our passions clicked, we were becoming more than fast friends and right away I knew there was more to what was happening between us. Now for those of you who know Stephanie and Cole's story, you know that she stayed focused and obedient to God's voice and even after meeting Cole later on in that year she told him, hey, I'm sorry, I've given this year to God, if you want me you'll have to wait. Sometimes I wonder what I did to deserve you. And then I remember one night, God said to me, the love I have for you exceeds all your expectations. And you do, you really do exceed them all. Thank you for always making me laugh and for letting me cry and be who I am all the time. I'm so excited that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. Because I know that without a shadow of a doubt, that you are the man that God has for
Entering into that holy estate, which is the deepest mystery of experience in the very sacrament of divine love. You're performing an act of faith today, believing one another until the end. In the midst of joy and trial, gain and loss, which is common to all, be unmoved in your devotion. Remain in all circumstances confident and hopeful. Believe in the ideal and strive for its mastery. This is the man, this is the woman that you love. Together you create the foundation on which to build a home which will be a refuge in the midst of life's storm. The Lord has answered my prayer. I thank Jesus for the honor of going through this life with you. And so, I vow to take care of you, to honor you, to protect you, to honor and respect you as my wife, as prescribed by the Word of God, and intimately love you alone. In doing all of this through sickness and in good health, through the good times and the bad, all the days of my life, until we pass and we hold hands together before the throne of the Almighty, who I promise these vows to you before friends, family, and God, I love you. I promise to be the best wife that I can be. I promise to always make you laugh. I promise to always stand by your side. I promise to be your biggest cheerleader and always be the one who loves you the most. I promise that no matter what happens and no matter where life takes us, I'll always trust you. I promise to always be honest with you and to always come to you first. I promise that from this day forward, you have my whole heart and I'll never take it back. I promise to be the best part of all your days. I promise to never stop asking for one more kiss. <laughs> and most importantly, I promise to always be your spiritual backup, praying you through the hard moments and the happy ones too. that no matter what happens in this life, as long as we have each other, we can do it. You're my best friend all of my life. My person, best part of all my days. So you me against the world, babe. I love you forever and ever. I can't wait for the rest. <laughs> <laughs>